Can you believe that they have 20,000 corporations right in that building, five-story building? Of course, they don't have 20,000 corporations in that building. It's all a fraud. A group of investigative journalists released over 13 million files known as the Paradise Papers, exposing just how bad this situation has become. These papers show how a handful of oligarchs in the United States and throughout the world get richer, much richer, by hiding their wealth and profits offshore to avoid paying their fair share of taxes. You know, it's a funny thing. All of these American billionaires, they love the military and they love the veterans and they love schools and they love infrastructure, but they don't want to pay anything to maintain those institutions. They want you to pay. So they love the military, but it's your job to pay taxes to support the military, not them. The list of individuals involved in the Paradise Papers include billionaires like the Koch brothers, Sheldon Adelson, Carl Icahn, and Robert Mercer. And these are guys, by the way, while they're busy shielding their money from taxation, apparently have many, many hundreds of millions of dollars to spend on campaigns to elect right-wing extremists who will protect the wealthy and the powerful. They can't pay taxes but they do have a lot of money to spend in politics. It also includes such large financial institutions such as Wells Fargo, Citigroup, and Bank of America. Corporations like Apple, Nike, and Exxon Mobil. And shock of all shocks, and I know you're really gonna be shocked to hear this, it includes members of the Trump administration like Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, Chief Economic Advisor Gary Cohn, and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. Offshore tax evasion is a major problem, not just for the United States, but for governments throughout the world. We must take action now to put an end to the socially damaging an extortionately costly scandal. In 2012, the Tax Justice Network released a statement and a report that is absolutely incredible. And in that report, they estimated that at least $21 trillion is being stashed in offshore tax havens all over the world. The situation has become so absurd that one five-story office building in the Cayman Islands is now the home of nearly 20,000 corporations. So that's the building that's right behind me. These corporations are using that address in the Cayman Islands in order to avoid taxes. In the United States, offshore tax evasion cost our government about $160 billion in lost revenue each and every year. That's money that could go to rebuild our crumbling infrastructure and create some 15 million good paying jobs. That's money that in a competitive global economy could be used to make public colleges and universities tuition free. That's money that could be used to provide high quality universal pre-K and child care to every infant, toddler and young child in our country. Now, I find it funny, certainly not surprising that instead of trying to crack down on offshore tax schemes, Trump and the Republicans in Congress are working overtime to pass legislation that would make this very bad situation even worse.